What is 2.5D? Is 2.5D even a thing? 2.5D is a thing, and I'm going to explain it for you. 2.5D is literally 3D shapes made out of 2D shapes with 2D hitboxes. They didn't want to call it 2D because, well, it looks and acts like a 3D game or program. They didn't want to call it 3D because, well, it was made completely with 2D shapes and 2D hitboxes. So they called it 2.5D, somewhere in the middle, and they were okay with that. So it's called 2.5D. Are you confused? Let's look at an example. Here we have a 2.5D program. It looks and acts like a 3D program. I can collide with this box, I can touch this red guy and respond back and I die. And it looks like a 3D program. Let's unrotate this so you can see a better visualization. You'll notice it's literally just a square that the player is rotating around or touching. I'm literally moving around it and it's literally just a square. Let me highlight it so you can get a better idea. Here I highlighted the 3D shapes hitbox. Now you can see that it's literally the 3D shape touching a 2D hitbox. I can even highlight the player's hitbox and you'll see that they both have 2D hitboxes with 3D shapes on top of them. Isn't that neat? I can take away the shapes and you'll see that it's the 3D um, the 3D shape has a 2D box literally right under it and the 2D player is literally just touching this 2D thing. I can take away the, th the player's 3D shape and you will see that they're both 2D hitboxes that when they collide it's just like a normal 2D program. See? That's literally what it is. This, These are the things that are behind the 3D shapes and every, even the 3D shapes are made with 2D planes. I can put the shapes back, re-rotate it, and you'll see that when I'm behind the block, it's um, displaying behind the block. And if I'm in front of the block, well, it displays in front of the block. And it literally just said if the player's Y is above this block, make it display under this block. And if it's above, make it display above this block. It's that simple. It's just little tweaks. Now, you do need to divide the two halves to work out the different mechanics, but it's still super easy. Take away the highlights, and you have a 2.5D program. And that's literally what 2.5D is. So, with this knowledge, and it seems like cheating, but because 3D would technically be a better choice. But if you're not very good at 3D with this knowledge, you can make games like Crossroad and other very, very famous and well known games. And they're very fun to play. And if you like this video, Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing.